What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. In today's episode, um, I want to talk to you about a comment that I received today. But we're gonna go back a little bit. Three to four years ago is when I heard for the very first time somebody saying that Tudor is a poor man's Rolex. Now it didn't, I did not make a big scene at the time. I don't know why, probably because I didn't have the YouTube channel so I couldn't really do the rant that I'm about to do now. But today somebody commented under my video where I reviewed a Tudor Royale saying that at this price point, I'm actually gonna read it to you here. So many great watches in, the, in this price range. Why buy a Rolex for the poor? Uh, then he also went to tell me that, you know, he loves all types of watches from EP that he owns actually all the way to swatches and orients and, and whatnot. And he just doesn't like trash brands like trash garbage right he said trash brands faceless passionless and unnecessary timepieces like Tudor and that just made me furious I was at work I wasn't supposed to be in my phone but I was in my phone reading this long comment and and I was angry and I said I go home and I gotta talk to you guys about this because this is um, unacceptable in my opinion now for example, somebody like myself that actually doesn't afford a Rolex, Tudor is probably the closest thing that I can get to a Rolex, if that even makes sense. Now, if I buy a Tudor and, you know, I know that Rolex is in my heart and I know that, you know, Rolex is something that eventually I want to own, but I can't at the moment and there you cocky son of with an AP coming to me telling me that oh you bought a Tudor oh my god that is a Rolex for the poor well how does that make me feel also where does it end if I see a guy with an Orient Bambino small second hand do I just tell him like oh my god I can't believe you bought a Calatrava on a budget like this is ridiculous like with every watch now you can say that where does this end then we are not even supposed to buy these watches or what? If somebody owns the Gerard Perregaux Laureato, do you just go and tell them that, man, you, you could just like save a little more and get the AP Royal Oak? It's not a little more because Laureato is like $10,000 and the AP is like $30,000. So there's a big difference here. Now, it might be true to an extent because if I never had an interaction with Tudor and I've always wanted a Rolex and now somebody showed me or introduced me to Tudor brand and I'm like, you know what, I'll just get a Tudor. I can't afford a Rolex. It probably will not scratch the itch. It probably will not. I agree with that. If you don't like the Laureato from Gerard Perregaux, then it probably makes no sense for you to buy it because it just it's similar or it kind of looks or it shares the same traits and you know characteristics from the AP uh, yeah this will probably be a mistake that you probably eventually um, will understand that it wasn't a good decision now if you truly love the brand why not why not get it why not get it and if I truly love Tudor brand what gives you the power to call it trash while I have it on my wrist I just don't understand some people. I think, you know, when I started getting more and more into the watch world, into the watch industry, watch collecting, I had definitely some boundaries or, or some things that I, you know, keep in mind for when watch collecting and things like that, or things that I follow to, or guidelines, right, for when I watch collect. But what I understood with the time is that for everybody, they're different. They're, they, what I look at when I collect watches or buy watches or borrow watches or whatever, I get what is closest to my heart. It's what I like. And what I don't like might be exactly what you love. And that is the beauty of watch collecting. And that is the beauty of you know what connects us all because I believe the watch culture is very strong and what sets us apart from a lot of other you know industries or niches 
is the fact that there are, there's such a huge variety into you know the watch industry there's so many watches but yet we still come together and and we love one another's peace something that I can't really see BMW and Mercedes doing you know like you can't really see those two guys around big fans of the Beamer just will trash the Mercedes and in the watch industry is completely different and the watch industry is completely different you share your perspective on on the timepiece and I share my perspective on why I got what I got you know why I got this Seiko that looks like Cartier tank which I'll probably have to make a video on it really nice watch sure Tudor maybe shares some things with Rolex I don't doubt that we have the Tudor Submariner who looks basically identical to the Rolex Submariner from back in the days I'm not gonna say anything about that but I mean there's a lot of watches that look like Rolex Submariner and I mean just put it in perspective like this you are the big brother and you're a very rich guy you're self-made and then there's your younger brother who takes a lot of your finances who or you know you're giving him and all that so you're helping him grow and you know he kind of looks similar to you because obviously you guys are brothers so you share some traits and now he's also rich because of you and he's doing his own thing and he's doing very well if somebody goes to him and tells him that you know what you are what you are only because of your big broskies you would be absolute trash without him you would be nothing you're nothing without him even you can't say that it just it makes no sense because you don't know where that guy would be whether his brother was rich or not so it's the same thing here yes Tudor does benefit a lot from the Rolex because you know it's 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 the name Rolex right so when Tudor started making moves it was maybe easier for them to grow into what they are now a lot of people would argue you know if all of this rise that they've been for the past few years is indeed something that's you know well deserved for Tudor but that's it's completely up to everybody you know I I think I think it is I think they deserve it I think they're great I think they're amazing some people don't think so but coming here or telling somebody that your decision into buying what you bought is bad you could have gotten such a better something else it just really makes no sense it's something that I maybe was doing before but also before I just had no idea about watches and stuff but when you you know like this guy he claims to have you know APs and, and, and watches at that level you can't look down at other guys and yes he does say that he wears other watches like Orient and probably Seiko's and stuff so he kind of respects the lower end but also he picks and chooses kind of what he likes and then what he doesn't like he trashes I'm assuming we all have a brand that we really really don't have close to our hearts but if somebody is across from your table sharing his love for a watch you just can't tell him the, the, his decision is with the watch he bought is just trash it, it, it's just not like that and specifically to clarify the topic with Tudor being you know a poor man's Rolex it just it's not true it just isn't it, it, it doesn't matter what you say even if they share the same or similar design uh, you know all about Tudor screams Rolex it isn't it just isn't it's a Toyota and Lexus they're basically the same car but no they're not really the same car Lexus is much more luxurious Toyota doesn't have the luxury that the, that the Lexus has but also Toyota is half the price of a brand new Lexus and so is the Tudor so I hope I really hope if you're watching the the video the guy who commented I no hate towards you man only love you do you uh, it's great uh, congratulations on owning such pieces as AP uh, amazing watches I absolutely love them uh, just don't do that I don't think that type of, uh, of I don't think that those types of comments are really uh, nice to a lot of people and you know especially when they really can't afford what you can afford right so with that being said only love to everybody thank you so much for watching thank you so much for you know being here liking subscribing Make sure to hit the bell icon to turn on the notification so you never miss when I upload a new video. With that being said, I'll catch you in the next video. Take care.